ladies and gentlemen, this is Prestige Online Championship Adrenaline. First week, first match. It's a one on one match. This is an opening tournament match. We're going to crown the first World Heavyweight Champion in a 16-man tournament. This is the first match of that tournament. And making his way to the ring right now, it's slid inside the ring, KJ Elite. Someone who's been on my channel before. Never before in the POC Adrenaline ring. But today he makes his debut there as long as along with everyone else. This is the first POC match ever. And his opponent, someone who's actually uh someone who KJ Elite has actually been in the ring with, Tom Clark. They've been on my channel before. This time they're squaring off one one on one. Only one of them can advance to the quarterfinals. It's a 16 man tournament, so there's going to be four rounds. Four wins will earn you the World Heavyweight Championship. But only one man can pull that off. Everyone else in POC will lose before a World Heavyweight Champion is crowned. KJ Elite going to be scoring off with Tom Clark. There's the bell on the deck and here we go. One -on -two Ignore the one-on-two -on -two thing that the announcers are saying. This is one-on-one. -on -one. I'm on the apron just to observe. I'm recording. This is an online match. We're in the feeling out process here. Who's going to get and the advantage KJ of Elite control? taking control early on. I have a strong feeling that these guys will throw caution to the wind and just go Going for an early pin. Kick out by Clark. This will be a physical battle. Did you hear how his leg connected? I know KJ Elite already. I know him that uh It's an amazing atmosphere in this arena tonight. He is a determined individual. And he steps off the Hurricane Rana. He wants to make sure he gets his hand raised every single These match. Superstars are so unpredictable. I'm having a hard time figuring out what they're going to do next. Oh, force back inside. What's he up to? Here? Look out! Going for a springboard. Tom Clark slid outside the ring. Trying to take the advantage but KJ Elite stand on top of them can't get back up on their feet well not necessarily just the brains I mean if you damage the ribs or legs enough that'll keep your opponent down too it's pummeling Tom Clark just any of the matches from this week go to wwe.com to catch up on all the action this is the first match taking place inside the adrenaline arena These are great competitors, great, tremendous gladiators here at WWE. Kind of thinking that uh, these first matches for the week, people are going to be trying to make sure they get their hand raised because no one wants to lose their first match. So I'm, I'm expecting people to be a little uncomfortable, maybe a little... Um, Neither one of these superstars can afford to give their opponent the upper hand. A little nervous in this match. Might be making some mistakes Man, here. KJ Elite is doing all right with uh, controlling this match. Tom Clark might be in trouble. KJ yeah, Elite's actually controlled most of this match. Dumped out one more time. Could win by oh, pinfall really? submission, Whoa. and actually added an additional, oh, an additional win condition. Just in case pinfall and submission Again, is, is not good enough. In the just like the announcer just mentioned, have have last man standing is the condition in this match. I'm just trying it out. I've never tried it before. 
hoping it'll work out all right because pinfall pinfall condition uh -oh. can be a little uh, uh -oh. little screwy could be really easy to kick out at times and I, I'd like matches to actually have a decisive victor Tom Clark coming back to slam KJ Leach's face right into the pole both men want to be that first world heavyweight champion Tom Clark already already hurt a bit you could see him clutching his ribs KJ lead rolling him up Clark countering Kicks out. KJ Elite staying on him. Clark's going to have to do something big to come back in this. He's fighting back. Knee to the face. Another roll up. Counters again. Tom Clark knows the grappling game. Knows, knows his ground game. KJ Elite setting him up. He's gone, He's gone for this before for the cover. With that uh, fisherman suplex brain buster. It could have been it, but Tom Clark kicks out. This is advanced to the second round. It's only the first round match. Both men going for some high impact with kicks. Either connected. KJ Lee going for a submission now. Cobra clutch. There is submission in this match. We do not allow submission finishers, but submissions are a fair game. Will Tom Clark tap out? And Clark. Getting back up and powering out. He's in big trouble. Clark. The hammer throw. Choke slam. Nobody home for that one. Roll up. Clark. His shoulders are down. And Skinner kicks out. KJ Lee, you notice how he kicked out right away. Tom Clark countered his to. Okay, he accidentally tagged me in. Okay, I gotta. Gotta tag myself back out because that's not supposed to happen. It's set up in a one on two, but I'm actually. Come on, just tag. I'm actually just here to record. Should have double teamed him. <laughs> And the harm done. That might have actually gave KJ Elite a slight advantage as Tom Clark got off me. I mean, uh, Tom Clark got off KJ Elite when he, when I made that uh, tag, tag myself in. It's a complete unintentional accident. And KJ Elite, that may have cost Tom Clark the win. Got him in a chin lock. Could tap out any moment. Clark's fighting back, and he headbutts him, gets off him. Got to stand up on the top part of this, so that'll never happen again. <laughs> this is the first first ever POC match. Tom Clark fighting back. And this is going to return to the ring. He's got evil intentions. Put him up top. Wait, what's he doing? And superplex connects from Tom Clark. KJ Elite's right back up. This is it. Here he goes. Oh, Big move. Big move, Big move by KJ Elite. Ah, uh, kick out before oh, one, but uh, he's kicking me in the face. That's completely unintentional, though. I think. Um, that last man standing stipulation may have caused a slow slow count there. KJ Elite just dove to the outside of the ring. Clark slid in the ring outside of the uh, dodging it. 
And now the official begins the count. Apparently, it'll take a lot more to end this match. Things don't look good for Skinner here. This match is hard to call this. Whoa, right on target. Ace is really quick. I like it. KJ Lee taking him out with a springboard right, neckbreaker. Blockbuster. These guys have done so much to win by each the other. last man standing stipulation. Right, Five Tom count, and Tom Clark's back up. Again. Right back down, though. Comes some vertical suplex. Three amigos. Wow, Eddie Guerrero move. used to do. Going top rope once more. Ah. It went for some off the top rope and he got caught by a code breaker from Tom Clark. I got to uh, I got to learn some of the move names for their finishers. They might have custom names that they personally call it. What an incredible suplex! Haven't haven't uh, gotten all that down yet. But both these guys, as hungry as they are for success, you got to believe that they're gonna be around for a while to try to win some gold here. There will be multiple championships to win. Titles will be changing hands. Tom Clark has fired back with this comeback moment. Here comes some triple Germans from Tom Clark. He's really made a comeback in this match. KJ Elite was really controlling it for a long portion. And this could be it. It's that uh, knee to the face, code breaker for the cover, and that might have well, that definitely slowed the count down. I think that this is going to be the last match I have that last man standing stipulation in with pinfall on. So it seems to be messing up the pinfall. There are multiple ways to win this. KJ Elite's realizing the pinfall is going to be a, a bit difficult to get, but Tom Clark. Already back up. KJ Elite thought he might have the win right there, but there's only a one count on that uh, attempt to count to ten by the referee. Really back and forth action. KJ Elite going for those triple Germans just like Clark went for earlier. He's going for a submission again. Clark scouted it. You can tell uh, KJ Elite really wants that win. No one wants to go home from the first uh, round of this tournament. Everyone wants to advance, get a shot at that world title. It's going to be the very first ever world champion for POC. Dodges to the side of that one. And Cobra Clutch. Huge power move. And he gets out of the way. For Irish Whip. AJ Lee a counters into a belly to belly. What a deadly submission hold this is. And another one of those chin locks. Got to be wondering how long Cl uh, Clark can hang in there. AJ Elite releases the hold. He, he might have been slipping. He lets go of the hold and puts him right back in it. He might have been letting go of that grip and wanted to reapply it with a new, a new attempt to apply some pressure. Big Clark tap out and Clark fights right out of it. And he wills his way out. Clark has the headlock. Avoids the impact there. Quick thinking to avoid that. Got some chain grapples going. And a Cobra Clutch. And KJ Elite in the center of the ring. He's going to tap and he taps. 
Tom Clark will advance to the next round. Now, how this works, KJ Elite did not get the victory, but he does get two prestige points for his match. It's a pretty good match. It's two prestige points to advance him in his career here in POC, but Tom Clark picked up the win. It's four prestige points for submission victory, but more importantly advances in the tournament to become the first world heavyweight champion. Stay tuned, guys. The rest of the tournament will be good. Take care.